Uh, my name is uh, Philip Onyango. I'm a teacher of Bokolsun, and uh, we are going to continue with algebraic expression. So today we are going to be tackling what we call simplification of algebraic expression. I'll start by writing the topic. Uh, it is simplification. Simplification of algebraic expression. Algebraic expression. So in simplification of algebraic expression, the first thing that you're supposed to know, we are supposed to be talking about uh, the like terms and unlike terms. So for example, when you're talking about the like terms, we are having uh, something like this. So I will write A, uh, like terms. Like terms are numbers or letters that resemble. Like for example, when I'm having A, when I'm having A, let me say there is a plus there in the middle. Then I'm having 2a. So in these cases, we are having a here. Then we are having 2a. a and 2a, they are like terms. Reason being, in all of them, we are having the letter a. So when you are having a plus 2a, this one means it will be 3 a. That is an example of like term. The second example of a like term, we may be having 4c minus 3c. 4c minus 3c, this one means we are having 4c, then we are going to less 3c from 4c. So 4c minus 3c we'll be having what we call 1c, but 1c can also be written as c alone. So the number one here is always a silent number. But when we are having 5c or we are having 6c, maybe 10c, the number will not be silent. The number is always silent when we are having one only. So 1c is the same as c alone. But sometimes we, we may be having, let's say, uh, 1d. 1d may be just be d alone. Uh, so the third example of a like term is when we are having, let's say, uh, 10a uh, minus 2a plus 5a. We are having 10a minus 2a plus 5a. When you look at these particular numbers, each of the numbers you see here, the number 10 is having a, the number 2 is having a, then the number 5 is having a. So when we want to either add or subtract these numbers, the first thing that we must consider is board mass. So I will write here board mass. Board mass simply means bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. But in this particular case where we are having 10a minus 2a, plus 5a, when you look at it, you'll find that we are having minus and we are having plus. So when we are having minus and plus, we look at the board mass itself. Then we'll start with b, that stands for bracket. Bracket is not there. We'll go to off, off is not there. Division is not there, we'll still cancel. Multiplication is not there, we'll still cancel. Addition is there. So when you look at addition, addition is in front of 5a. I repeat, addition is in front of 5a. 
So when you look at this, it will be 10A, then we'll put plus first, plus 5A is when will less minus 2A. So this one means 10A plus 5A, we are having 15A minus 2A. Remember, in board mass, when you're looking at addition, addition comes first is when we go to subtraction. But because we've already added 10A plus 5A to get 15A, we'll now go to the last part of the board mass, which is subtraction. So I will cancel subtraction since we are dealing with subtraction now. So 15A minus 2A you will get the final answer to be 13A. So our final answer of 10A minus 2A plus 5A will go to the second part, which will be 10A plus 5A, since addition comes before my, uh, subtraction. So 10A plus 5A will get 15A, then 15A minus 2A will be getting 13A. So our final answer here will be 13A. That is uh, like terms. That is like terms. Then we'll go to Roman 4. Roman 4, you may be having different like terms. Maybe we are having X and X, D and D, the, or we are having C and C. So we'll be looking at a question uh, like uh, 3Z, 3Z plus 5D minus 2Z, let's say plus 10 D. When you look at this particular question, we are having a 3Z plus 5D minus 2Z plus 10D. The first thing that we look at is, what are the like terms here first? We are having Z, 3Z, and we are having 2Z. Then we are having 5D, then we are also having 10D. So the first thing that we'll do here is we'll bring the Z together, then we'll bring the D together. So here we'll come here, we'll write 3Z. Then when you look at 2Z, we are having subtraction in front of 2Z. So we'll write minus 2Z, then we'll go directly to addition part, which is a plus. In front of uh, a plus, we are having 5D. So we'll write here 5D. Then we'll go to plus 10D. What I'm doing right now is I'm simply picking the like terms together. That is 3z minus 2z. The first numbers are having zz. Then we are going to 5d and 10d. The second part of the numbers, we are having d, d. So when we check 3z minus 2z, we'll get 1z. Then there is a positive sign here. We'll write plus. 5D plus 10D will get 15D. So our final answer will be 1Z plus 15D. A student can even stop at this particular part. You cannot be penalized when you write your final answer to be 1Z plus 15D. But it is always advisable 
for a teacher to tell a student that one Z, one is always silent. As I told you uh, pre, uh, before, so one Z will be like Z alone, then plus 15D. Remember, one Z is the same as Z. We're having plus, you'll just write plus. 15D, you'll just write here to be 15D. That one does not mean that this one is the answer that if you write, you'll get it. I will write here or just because some students may follow alphabetical order. Z, as you know, is always the last letter of the alphabet. D always comes before Z. So a student can write this answer in following alphabetical order. So you may write it differently by saying 15 D. We still have positive number, positive sign, sorry. Plus, then Z will be the last one here. So Z plus 15 D can still be 15 D plus Z. So a student can either write Z plus 15 D to get the answer, or he may write 15 D plus Z. So either this, let me underline it, or this can be your answer. So on a recap, uh, very fast, before I go to the fifth uh, question, I say that we are dealing with simplification of algebraic expression. Then simplification of algebraic expression, we are always having like terms and unlike terms. But for the first one, I started dealing with like terms. Like terms, I give you the first example as A plus 2A. Why are we saying A plus 2A are like terms? Here, the first part is A. We are having the letter A. The second part, we are having 2A. We are having the letter A. So I will underline A and A, just to show you that these ones are the like terms. So A plus 2A, plus means addition. So when you take A, then you add it to 2A, you will get your final answer to be 3A. That is the first question. When we go to Roman 2, you are having 4C minus 3C. 4C, 3C, they are like terms because they are having letter C in both cases. We are having C, let me underline it for you to see. Then we are also having C here. So 4C minus 3C, we are having 1C. I told you before, a student can either write, let's say 1C, you can write your answer to be 1C, or 1 before a letter is always a silent number. So if you leave it at 1C, you'll get it, or if simply you write C alone, you'll get the same answer. Then Roman 3, we were having 10A minus 2A plus 5A. In all these three numbers, 10, 2, and 5, all of them have the letter A, A, A. But remember, for us to add or subtract these numbers and to get the right answer, we'll have to obey Bodmer's formula. In Bodmer's, we are having bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. As I started before, I started by cancelling B to mean bracket. In this case, we don't have bracket. I went to off. I went to division. I went to multiplication. Then I came to the part A, addition. Addition is the first one here that we'll deal with. So I will write the first number as 10A. Then when you look at this question, we are having plus here. So after 10A, I will go directly to plus. Plus, which number? 5A. Then we are having the last part, which is minus, minus 2A. So 10A plus 5A, we are having 15A. So it means that I will have been done with addition. So 10A plus 5A is 15A, minus 
2a. So 15a minus 2a, we get 13a. We are subtracting the last because subtraction comes the last in board mass. So when we came to number 4, we are having 3z plus 5d minus 2z plus 10d. In this particular part, you'll find that we are having z, z, and we are having d, d. So it is the student who is supposed to arrange these numbers in order. So I'm having 3z minus 2z. 3z minus 2z, then plus 5d plus 10d. So 3z minus 2z, I get 1z. Plus, I'm having here 5d plus 10d, I'm having 15d. So 1z is the same as z alone. As I told you, 1 is always a silent number when it is in front of a letter. Then plus 15d. When you look at 50c plus 3d minus 2t, when you look at them, 50 is having the letter C, 3 is having the letter D, minus 2 is having the letter T. These numbers, you can, no, you can neither add nor subtract them. Reason being, they do not resemble each other. We are having C, D, and T. Resembling means they don't look like the others. So in this particular uh, question, when a question have been, has been given to you like 50C plus 3D minus 2T, you cannot add or subtract them. So your final answer, you will simply copy the same, same question. So you'll have 50C plus 3D minus 2T. That one will be your answer since they are unlike terms. Let me go to the second part of the question of unlike terms. Uh, Roman 2 of unlike terms, uh, you may be given a negative uh, 15t, uh, maybe plus uh, y, let's say minus uh, again, maybe 40 uh, W. When you look at minus 15 T plus Y minus 40 W, in the first number, minus 15, we are having the letter T. Let me underline it. Uh, the second letter, we are having Y. Then the third letter, we are having W. When you look at the numbers that I've underlined, we are having T. We are having Y, we are having W. Remember, we are dealing with unlike terms. This one means we can neither add nor subtract these numbers since they do not resemble each other. So as a student, when you are asked to solve this one, you will simply come and copy the same equation. Minus 15T plus Y minus 40W. This one here will be your final answer. Let's uh, deal with uh, the third item, which is called brackets. We are having uh, brackets. Bracket, you may be given a question uh, like this. You may be given three open bracket. Uh, let's say you are having 2t minus 4, close bracket, minus 2a, open bracket, 5, plus 2. You are asked to solve a question like this, brackets. We are having 3, open bracket, 2t, minus 4, close bracket, minus 2a, open bracket, 5 plus 2. When you look at this question, we are having brackets. That's why the item that we are dealing with is called bracket. Bracket means in the places where you are having brackets, you'll be replacing them with multiplication. Because in mathematics, 
bracket means multiplication. So in other words, to do away, to do away, I mean to remove this bracket here, you'll be replacing them with multiplication. The number outside the first bracket is three. So this three, you will multiply it with every number inside the bracket. Remember we are having 2t minus 4. So this 3, you must multiply it with 2t, then minus the same 4, you must multiply it with 3 for you to do away with this bracket. So in this first bracket, we are having 3, open bracket 2t. 2t to be our first number inside the bracket. So you will take 3 times 2t. So 3 times 2t will be 6t. Remember, 3 times 2 is 6. But which letter do we have there? T. The sign in the middle here, we are having minus. That one will be subtracting. Then we are having 3 times 4. 3 times 4, we are having 12. The first part of the bracket we have dealt with. When we are coming to the second part of the bracket, we must multiply it with what we are having outside the bracket. We are having minus 2a. So minus 2a times 5, we are having minus 10a. I repeat, minus 2a times 5, we are having minus 10a. When you are dealing with the bracket, what you must always make sure that you take keen note of is the signs which are either inside the bracket or outside the bracket. We are having minus times positive. The negative sign times a positive sign will always get a negative sign. So 2a times 2 we get 4a. So when you're dealing with this one, after breaking the bracket, we go back to what we have learned before. That is called like and unlike terms. So here, we'll be collecting the like terms and also the unlike terms, we'll put them in a different place. So in this place, I'm having 6t. 6t, I will write 6t. Then I will check if I'm having t. In number 12, there is no t. 10a, there's no t. 4a, there's no t. So it means we are only having 6t. Then we go to the second number, 12. But this 12 is having a minus in front of it. So I will start by writing minus, then I write 12. 12 is the only number which is not having any letter. So I will simply write 12 and leave it like that. Then when I come here, I'm having minus 10a minus 4a. This place is an interesting part in mathematics. We are having minus 10a minus 4a. So in this particular part, I will explain this part first before I write it there. Because it is good for a student to understand that part. Let me rub this side first. So, uh, remember, I've dealt with 60 minus 12, but this particular part, I want to write it in a different part first. Then I solve it. After solving it is when I will transfer it here. Remember, I'm having minus 10a. I'm having minus 10a. Minus again, minus 4a. This part is an interesting part. Mostly, sometimes students do not always understand that, how uh, one can get an answer. Minus 10a, minus 4a. 10 is having a negative sign. 4a is also having a negative sign. Minus, I will write minus, to mean 
deaths. So uh, minus here simply means deaths. You have to know that. I repeat, minus means deaths. So we are having 10A is having minus. 4A is having minus. I told you minus mean debt. You are a customer to a particular shop. Let me explain it. You are, have, you are a customer to a particular shop. You are always going to that shop. Then each and every time, you are always paying for the items that you are buying. For example, you go today, you buy a product. You give the, the shop owner money in cash, then he gives you the product. But one particular day, you go to a shop, then you tell the shopkeeper that, please, I, I need this particular item, but I don't have money. Then the shopkeeper gives you the item. Then he tells you that this item cost 10 shillings. It is 10 shilling item. You've been given on a credit. Credit means you've not paid it. So because you've not paid it, we are going to use a negative sign. Then in a, 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 the following day, you also go to the same shopkeeper. He gives you the item on credit, but he tells you that that item is costing four shillings. But because he has given you on credit, you are going to use minus four. Remember the first time you go to the shop, the item that you are given on credit is 10 shillings. But remember I told you that negative represent debt. Did you pay for the 10 shilling item? No, you are given on credit. So it is having a negative sign. This following day, you go to the shopkeeper again. He gives you the item on credit. Did you pay the item on credit? No. But what was the cost of the item? Four shillings. You did not pay in cash. So you are given on credit. So the item will have a negative sign. So the question is, when you went to the shopkeeper the first time, you are given a credit, an item costing 10 shillings. You did not pay. You went to the following day, you are given an item costing 4 shillings. You did not pay. But now the question is, all these items that you are given, what is the total cost when you'll be paying them? First, it was 10 shillings. You did not pay 4 shillings. So the total cost of the item that you did not pay is 14 shillings. But because it is a debt, you will use a negative sign. Negative means debt. You have not paid them. You went to the shopkeeper. You are given an item on uh, costing 10 shillings. You did not pay. It's going to have a negative sign. You went to the same shopkeeper. He gives you an item costing 4 shillings. You did not pay. He's having a negative sign. So what is the total cost of the items that you did not pay when you went to the shopkeeper? Is 14 shillings. But did you pay them in cash? No. Are they dead? Yes, because you did not pay. So you use a negative sign. So I will transfer this. Remember we were having now, if, if you may allow me to calculate this, it will be negative 10A minus 4A. So minus 10A minus 4A simply will be negative 14A. So you'll come here, you'll transfer the answer 60 minus 12 minus 14a. So our final answer here will be 60 minus 12 minus 14a. Why? Because they are unlike terms and we cannot move more than that particular uh, part. So this one will be our final answer. 60 minus 12 minus 14a. I hope the concept of uh, debts, you've understood it. Because minus in mathematics means debts, but positive means cash. So it means you've paid. It will not have a minus uh, part. We are also having a question uh, like this. We are having 5A minus 2T. Let me write it well, 5A minus 2t. But all this one has been squared. 
squared in mathematics means you repeat the number the same number same the keyword is same same number two times so because 5a minus 2t has been put bracket then the sign there on top there is a square will repeat this same number two times so we are having 5a minus 2t you put bracket the same number you again open a different bracket you write the same number so we are having 5a minus 2t 5a minus 2t open another bracket 5a minus 2t so when we are going to work it out I know very well that uh, we are not supposed to expand now. Expanding is in form two. But just to make a, sh a student know the concept of expansion, it is always beginning with algebraic express expression in uh, form one. So the first number here is 5a. You will open bracket, then you write here 5a minus 2t. Remember, when you took 5a, what didn't you take? You left minus 2t. So minus 2t, you'll again bring it here, minus 2t. Then you open a bracket. Whatever you wrote inside this bracket is the same, same thing that you must write inside the second bracket. 5a minus 2t. Then after writing it like that, you simply multiply. 5 times 5 will be 25. A times A will be A squared. You write it there. Then we are having minus here. Minus is here. We start with numbers. 5 times 2 is 10. A times T, you just write A T. Then we are having minus here. You write minus. Start with numbers. 2 times 5 is 10. T times A will be A T. But remember, we are having minus outside the bracket and minus inside the bracket. Minus times minus, you'll, get, you'll write addition. Then 2 times 2 will be 4. Then t times t will be t squared when you look at it. Uh, so when you look at this one here, you'll come here, then you write 25a squared. But now look at here. I taught you minus means debt. You go to the shopkeeper, you take a debt of 10 shillings. You go to the same shopkeeper on another time, you take a debt of 10 shillings. So how many total debts do you have? We are having a total debt of 20. Because it is a 20 debt, you put a minus sign there. Then you just copy the letters because they are the same. 80, 80. Just put 80 in front here. Then here, finish it with plus 4t squared. Then this one here will be our uh, final answer. So we are having 25a squared minus 28t plus 4t squared. So I repeat here, we are having 5a minus 2t then close bracket, we are having square. Uh, in the first part, square means you repeat the same number. When you are multiplying, you multiply the same number how many times? Two times. So we are having the uh, 5a minus 2t, 5a minus 2t, close the bracket, open another bracket, the same number, 5a minus 2t. So 5a is the first number inside the first bracket. Take the 5a, write it here, and immediately you take the first number, you open the bracket. Then you copy the second number. The way, the, all of it, 5a minus 2t, 5a minus 2t, close bracket. When you took 5a, what did you leave? Minus 2t. So you write minus 2t, open the bracket. Whatever you wrote in the first bracket must be written in the second bracket. So we are having 5a minus 2t. Close it. Then now you multiply. You start with the numbers always first. 5 times 5, you get 25. I repeat, 5 times 5, you get 25. Then A times A, you get A squared. Put them together because it forms one number. Minus, minus. 
Start with the numbers 5 times 2, you write 10. Bring the letters A times T, A, T. Bring them together. Then we are having minus, write minus. Start with the numbers 2 times 5, 10. Then you are having T times A, we are having A, T. That one you've completed. But now when you look at the inside the bracket, we're having minus, and here we are having minus. So minus times minus, you're having positive. Then now you come. Uh, 2 times 2, you're having 4. Then T times T, you're having T squared. Then now you check the like terms. You're having 25A squared. A squared is only 1. A squared is, is here, not here, not here, not here. Write 25A squared. Minus 1080, minus 1080. The, all of them are having 80, 80. So they mean, it means they are like terms. Minus, I told you, means debts. So minus, you go to a shopkeeper, he gives you a debt of 10 shillings. The same shopkeeper gives you a debt of 10 shillings. So what is the total debt that you owe to that shopkeeper? 20. Because they are debts, you put minus in front. Minus 20, 80. Then plus 40 squared then you are done in this particular uh, uh, part. So that is that. Uh, when we look at uh, these particular uh, questions, the key note that you are supposed to take is that you must always check the like terms and you must always check uh, the unlike terms. So in our uh, next uh, lesson, I will always want you to be very careful to take key note of the like terms and, and like terms. In our next lesson on algebra, I will now be uh, taking you in word problem questions. You are given questions in sentences and you are asked to solve them. But so long as you are having these particular concepts that we have looked at, the like and unlike terms, you will always know how to do those particular uh, questions. I uh, will continue in our next lesson.